Hello, my name is IVXHDB, Akuma Fraser, and welcome back to a story about my uncle, part 7, I believe. It must be part 7, because I've just done part 6. So, moving on, the checkpoint markers are pointing in this direction, but that's not the way to go. Down is not the way to go. But there is something in this direction I'm supposed to do, so I'm just going to run and jump and hope for the best. Okay, I think it's this. I think it's this. This must be the way to go. I think I used that crystal thing a bit early. But I'm doing it. And I've done it. Wait, I wasn't supposed to do that. What? No! Oh, no! And I've wasted it. No, nope, I'm just going to die now. I'm just going to die because I've wasted that. Okay, let's try it again. I understand what we're supposed to do. Thank goodness. It's still a bit tough. It's just a matter of getting there. Not too far to go now. Gotta go under, not over. Oh, that would have been dangerous if I didn't double click then. There's a landing space. And I got the checkpoint. Good, 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 good. Moving on. Making quite a bit of progress already. That's good. I, w I was hoping that I wasn't going to spend too much time on that little bit. I think we're closer and closer to Fred now, which is great. It's just somehow getting over this bit now. That works. That works indeed. There's a ton of crystals. Absolute ton of them. Can deactivate all of them. Harness their energy. Look at how many there are. All around me. But there was a light at the end of the tunnel. What's at the end of the tunnel? If this is Fred now. If we've just found Fred. Or if we just found... No. Fred? Is this Fred? Hello? Nephew. Uncle Fred. I finally found him. My little boy. I'm glad to see you. And you're wearing the suit I made you. But how can you be here? I said that I found the suit in his workshop and that I came looking for him. I'm sorry for being away for so long. But I've been busy down here, you see. The frog people. That was an experiment of mine. Do you remember the eggs I found before? I sent them here by accident, and I had to follow. And by the time I got here, they were already growing. These caves were empty before, but my experiment has made them full of life. I've conducted research on them and documented everything about them. And I built a new crystal-powered pad to be able to get back to my colleagues, show them how fantastic this all is. I interrupted Fred and told him about Maddie, how we came all the way to Starhaven together, and that I had promised to ask him if he would go see her there. Madeline. My little Maddie. I, I should have taken her to see Starhaven long ago. She was always so curious about the strays. I left her. I wanted to protect her. Or rather, protect myself from losing her. I've changed my mind. I'm not going home. What does research or praise matter when I can be here with these creatures? They need me. And it's just as well I don't trust this pad for more than one ride anyway. You need that ride. I didn't want to go home. And I asked if I could stay with him and Maddie instead. I'm sorry, nephew. As much as I enjoy having you here, you must go home. Explore the world on your own. Have your own adventures. I reluctantly agreed to go home. I was going to miss my uncle. I will miss you too. But I'm sure you'll do phenomenal on your own. 
And don't worry about me or Maddie. You'll be fine. The pad is yours, boy. When you're ready. I'm not ready. I, I actually don't want to go back. Just like the character. But... I reluctantly agreed. Goodbye, uncle. Goodbye. <laughs> it ended. I have just finished a story about my uncle. And now for music. Look at all these credits. Look at all these people that have made this game. That was a cool game, wasn't it? What did I give this game out of 10? Well, unfortunately it did crash at one point. But it did have a good storyline. And I like the concept. I'd say I'd give it... 8.5 gone on to 9. What would have made it a 10? Well, clearly not crashing at that one point. And longer storyline. I don't know what else could happen. Maybe you could actually play as his uncle. Going back to Starhaven. But that's my final rating. I'll give it a 9. Let's count those last two points as half each. And I believe that's it. The end. Now, good night, sweetie. Wait, Dad. Does that mean Fred is still there? Who knows? That was the last time I saw him. Don't you miss him? I do, sometimes. But I don't worry about him. Because I know that wherever he is, he's on his biggest adventure yet. Now I'm back home. Dear Fred, today I step into the lobby of your house for the last time. My daughter asked me to tell her about an adventure, and I came to think of you. Your house looks just like my mother and I left it years ago. After you'd gone, I was sure she was going to throw out all your stuff, but she just cleaned up. We made you a small memorial. For a while, I came here every day, just like I used to. Sometimes, I could even faintly hear your voice calling from the observatory, asking me to get you this tool or that. I never told my mother about that day. I don't think she would have believed me. Can I believe it? After all these years. It's all locked up now. Oh, it's all snowed over now. He's never going back. I don't think Fred will ever be coming back. Oh. Uncle Fred, thanks to you. I have found an even greater adventure. Thank you. Love, your nephew. And that's the nephew, that's who we've been playing as. Just a little bit older version. That was a very nice ending. My rating goes up to 9.5. Thank you for watching the story about my uncle. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe. That's the end of that now. If you have any suggestions for any story-based games that you do want me to play, then leave a 
comments down below, because I will look at them, and then I may play them. Because of course, I like playing a variety of games. So yeah, see you all in my next video. Goodbye!